Alrighty, welcome back. Uh, so change the scenery here. Uh, we're actually on vacation up in the Eastern Sierras, um, but wanted to make a quick update video in regards to the laser cut parts, uh, just given the amount of attention that video has gotten. Uh, I've never had so many people view the channel, reach out to me directly, comment, um, and uh, there's a lot of concerns that are being um, mentioned. And I wanted to hopefully speak to what Vans is doing uh, up until this point and what our plan is moving forward with our build um, as we are affected by the laser cut parts issue. Um, so first thing I wanted to mention, um, there's a lot of frustration that builders have, which is warranted uh, towards vans. Uh, but I can tell you um, my perspective, probably your perspective too, is they're taking it incredibly seriously. Um, when I posted that video, um, I posted that video into that long 4th of July weekend. So posted Friday night, I think it was a a late, late Friday night, 11 o'clock, plus midnight post. She was already in bed. I was frustrated uh, getting that video posted and woke up to an email from Greg first thing in the morning. I'm already wanting to touch base uh, to, to get information and to hear my hear my concerns and uh, and chat with me. So, yeah. So anyways, on the phone call, my perspective is I could definitely tell that it wasn't just a PR thing. It was he he truly was concerned about the issue and wanted to hear our story, our perspective, our experience um, in hopes of making a, a better experience moving forward here uh, for other builders. So and I don't know how you felt on that phone call. He's only one person in a, like, in a company, so he can only do so much and only knows so much. But at the same time, I definitely got the impression that he wasn't just taking this lightly. He wasn't just going to go about his 4th of July weekend, nor was Vans, which made me feel really good because I know that night before, there was a ton of frustration in our household. So and I'm sure in a lot of people's households. So yeah, I really appreciated that from him. Um, and then... Do you want to talk about the summary from Vans? Yeah, so I guess quick update. Um, again, I know a lot of people have viewed that video. I've never seen so many people view the channel. And I know a lot of them probably don't have uh, kits, which means they probably are, did not receive their email updates from Vans. So I'm going to touch that real quick. Uh, Vans acted very, very quickly. So again, we spoke with Greg over the weekend, had that great phone call. And then 4th of July, I think it was, they posted that uh, public statement um, addressing, addressing the issue publicly, uh, bringing it to light for everyone. Um, and just by them doing that, and I know every company can do that, but to drop that after a, a long weekend, they probably had to bring people back in, back into the company, uh, all hands on deck kind of a thing to, to get information out. Cause that video, Ryan's video, they caught on really, really quickly. And I think they did a good job of, um, bringing things to light right away uh, for other people. So again, they did provide an update since then. They've used that same link to provide, uh, further updates down the line. So I'll leave a link in the description. It's also in that other video. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention on the other video is YouTube did delete my comment. So when they posted that update, um, I immediately commented on my own video there. I pinned it to the top said, hey, by the way, Vance has listened to our videos, listen to our concern. Um, they've posted this update. So I went back and for some reason, YouTube decided to delete that. So I don't know if it was just the link made me get shadow banned or something. I don't know what, what happened, but they did respond right away. So they are taking it seriously. They had a bunch of information that they already provided. Since then, they've had multiple updates. They've since posted an updated list of parts and RV models that are impacted. Um, so if you're building, you've probably already seen it. You probably are already aware. Uh, but those of you who are, are not building yet or those of you who are thinking of building, um, just do know they are taking it seriously. They, they are addressing the concerns at a part level. And my understanding is they're going to be testing those parts, uh, not only in-house uh, with their team, but also a third party to validate res results. So I feel I feel confident with, with what they're doing uh, to address issues with those parts. Now it is um, a very frustrating issue with those parts because there are already parts that Vance has identified as replaced parts. Um, so I understand spars are a major concern. I have multiple, I have several builder friends who are building either 10, 14 or other models who um, are having that frustrating issue now of I'm going to have to replace the spar. So yes, this is still a, a very, very frustrating issue. That's a gut punch. It's heartbreaking to have to replace those components. I don't no, it is, it is frustrating, but it's also like, what's the alternative? You can rush and say, forget this, we're not going to do it anymore, try to sell it, but good luck with that. Or you kind of wait, see what updates they come out with and move from there. But I think the biggest thing is just don't be rash. And that's kind of what we've moved to. It's like what, what we're planning to do. Your big thing was let's not make any quick decisions. Because I think the initial thing is forget it, we're done with this, it's over. Yeah, that's it's frustrating. It. That's what you want to do, but that's not necessarily, at least for us, in our what we're planning to do, that's not... Doesn't the, fulfill our end goal. Yeah, that doesn't fulfill our end goal. So do you want to just say what we're planning to do? As far as uh, what we're doing, we are putting a hold on things. We're on vacation. We're enjoying the 
enjoying nature, enjoying not being in uh, the scorching Phoenix desert uh, during during a hot time. So anyways, we're putting things on hold for now. I think even when we get back, we're, I'm not going to be touching those laser cut parts until I know more from Vans. I'm going to give them every opportunity to do all the testing they need to do on the parts and uh, move from there. I don't think there's, there's nothing good will come from making a rash decision right now uh, before we know all the information. Uh, this is one of those things where they've they have a year's worth of laser cut parts to, to work through to test. Uh, where we're at is we're, again, not, not going to be touching things until we hear back further from Vans. I don't think it's smart to – I keep hearing I, – I, I understand the perspective, but I keep hearing from people who are talking about giving up the build entirely. Um, number one, just thinking money-wise, resale-wise, I don't think resale is going to be anything. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it, it, there's – Nothing good will come from uh, making a decision now before we know further. I, I don't think people are going to be buying these kits right now. I think the buyer side is going to be on hold. The build side, it's frustrating to put a pause on things, and it sucks. Uh, all of us who are, who are building, we're, we're doers. We want to get things done. Uh, but it's one of those things where we need to give Vans the opportunity to, to do all the testing they need to do, give them space, give them room. I'm not calling them. I'm not emailing them. Uh, they mentioned in that link that they're going to have a system for us to be able to request parts uh, efficiently in the future that's not up and live yet so again giving them space we're putting things on hold um i'll hang out with her more i'll hang out with wyatt more which i guess uh is a good thing right yes for now <laughs> so anyways that's that's where we're at so anyways other builders um i've tried recording this a few times here but uh, my opinion is if you're building a kit that's affected and you know that you have buried parts hold off on making a decision for now uh, nothing good will come from making a a decision now um hold off give van space give them time um, things will get sorted out. I know it's a it's a busy month. I have uh, we have Air Venture coming up. We're not gonna actually I guess update there. We're not gonna be able to make it this year, uh, but next year we plan on being there. Uh, but if all these moving pieces, uh, so give them space, give them time, and uh, hopefully a month from now, maybe two months from now, uh, we're back at it full speed ahead. Because uh, my my intention here is, if that list comes back, I guess my view of of that list, um, if it comes back with solid testing and we're good to move forward with those laser cut parts in our fuselage kit. We'll move forward. Um, I, I have full faith in Vans. Just the the conversation that we had with Greg, I can tell they're fully invested. They do not want um, unsafe components uh, being out there, and I can tell that it is they're taking it very very seriously. And I trust them. Uh, I think they're they're doing everything they can. So if they come back with that list and we have we have parts on there and they deem them cosmetic in nature because they're fuselage parts where they're interior panels or whatnot, um, we'll move forward. Uh, we'll absolutely move forward. My. Uh, my other concern there um, is if we were to wait, uh, we're, we're pushing out a good probably year timeline uh, waiting for parts to come in. Um, it's just the same story again of, of having to wait for your train of, of parts to come through. So um, that's where we're at. I'll trust their list. Um, again, full faith in Vans there. Um, so And I agree with that because, you know, we didn't choose Vans on a whim. Like it wasn't like, oh, woke up one day, let's build an airplane, let's pick this random company. There was a lot of thought that went into why we chose Vans. And I think Austin's very first video – I don't even know, a year, over a year ago. Oh, please don't watch it. Yeah, I, I, old school, it was so I, I bad. I need to do a reaction video to it. I, I think I mentioned in there, you asked my timeline. I think I said we'd have it built, completed in three years. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, no, but in that, even Times in the, two. In the initial video, I still remember him talking about why Vans, why did we choose this company? There was a reason we did. And obviously a bump came up. And from a spouse perspective, it's extremely frustrating because in my mind, you know, I see Austin in the garage working on these things. I see our money flowing to this specific project. And so then my question is, where's the plane? Why isn't it done yet? What do you mean there's an update? What do you mean laser cut parts? So I think even as a spouse or partner that's watching the other person, if you're not the sole builder with them or the partner builder with them as much, it's frustrating, especially for us, because I'm like, what are we doing here then? Like, let's just move on. No, it's different. The goal here is to fly and to fly a safe plane. So like Austin said, we're putting our trust in Vans, definitely, but it's not for nothing. They're, they have an established reputation. It's why we chose them in the first place, and this is just something where we have to see how it goes. But I 100% agree with Austin that making quick decisions. I've even I've looked at some of those forum, forum comments and you know messages he's gotten where it's just like, let's just stick it to the company, and I totally get that feeling. We felt that that when that first um, July 3rd, I think, when we, that started coming out, we had that same, like, are you kidding me? So I get it. We both get it, but um, just taking a step back sometimes and breathing and saying, how can we move forward without losing all our money, losing our investment? Because as someone who was very stressed, I'll never forget the time and energy that went into building, let's say the tail cone. And then I see people who are like, I need to scrap the whole tail cone because the laser cut parts. I get your frustration. Oh my gosh. Cause that's a ton of work, but 
I think sometimes just stepping back and breathing for a second before saying I'm done with this, I'm over it could be beneficial, but that's just our opinion. Just yeah. After hours and hours and hours of discussing this hours, yeah. that's kind of where we landed. Yeah. And again, it is very, very frustrating, but I think a common theme here um, is again, that stick it to the mentality. I think like Amanda said, stay, take a step back. Every company, um, I think every company has growing pains. This is a big one. This is a, I think my opinion, it's a big mistake they made of outsourcing these parts. Um, and I think they understand there's a mistake, but what good does it, um, what good does it do uh, to, to stick it to them? Um, it, our goal is to have a flying airplane. So um, we, take need, a, we need Vans to figure it out. So that way they can give us the remaining parts so we can fly the airplane, not, you know, watch them fumble and sticking to them isn't going to do much. Exactly. And there's, us, at least. and there's no going back in time. I think, I think if you were to ask them if they could have, should have, would have done it the Monday morning quarterback thing, no, they probably shouldn't have done it. Um, but we're here now. We have we have these parts. Other builders have these parts. Um, so let's give Vans every opportunity to make things right, uh, to do the research they need to do, and hopefully we all end up with um, that total performance and uh, full safety is, is what I want. So um, that's where we're at. Again, um, I think we covered pretty much everything here. We did, yeah. And I think next video is going forward. Obviously, this is like the big issue right now that everyone keeps talking about. But we're, we still made progress on the plane with parts that weren't laser cut, of course. Um, the yeah, flaps. flaps are done. So that next video, when we get back from vacation here, we'll uh, knock out that flaps video. They and came out yeah, been really nice. Amongst all the chaos, that literally was like the glimmer of hope where it's like, this is why we're doing it. Just yeah. it came out, they came out beautifully and it was awesome. So yeah. So we're going to we'll, get back to vacationing. We're going to go catch some fish. Hike some trails, show why it's the great outdoors. Yeah, so we'll get to it. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other concerns or whatever, whatever the case may be, just want to say hi, say hi down in the comments down below, and uh, we'll see you in a more positive video on the next one. So we'll see you then. Adios. Adios. Adios.